My name is Leon Brzezinski and I'm the uh, president of the Wisconsin Alliance for Retired Americans. And the main concern that I have and that a, a majority of our members, I think, after we get over the economy is uh, actually relates to the economy and that's Social Security. Uh, there's been a drive of, in recent years to privatize Social Security, to put it in the stock market. And I think the reasons why it shouldn't be are very clear over the last three or four weeks, certainly over the last year. If we look at what's happened to the stock market, if your entire retirement savings was in the market, which for many people it is with the 401ks, uh, right now you're looking at half of what you had a year ago today. If you're going to retire and all of a sudden half of your retirement fund goes away, it probably means that you aren't going to retire on the date you thought you would. It means you have to work longer. So the idea of putting retirement funds into the market in uh, the Social Security, which is a guaranteed insurance benefit, uh, strikes me as being totally insane. Uh, there's no reason that we should be putting our total retirement nest egg into the market. And, uh, and as an aside, I remember as a kid growing up and as a young adult when we first started thinking about investing, and it was a broker that told me this. He said, you should never put money in the market that you can't afford to lose. And it seems to me, again, to be crazy that we'd be putting money into the market for our retirement that we can't afford to lose. What that means is right now, it appears to me that my generation, the generation that is, is, is retired or is retiring, is the last generation that's going to see the quality of life and enjoy the quality of life that we enjoy.